Welcome to my bathroom. I wonder how Lana's doing. But anyway, um, I brought you inside so we can try out all the little samples of foundations. I did not put on any, um, what did you call it, primer. You know, I didn't fill in any pores. I wanted to with the um, L'Oreal Studio Secrets, but let's have a true test. So, I got about nine different ones to try, so let's just get going. So here's a little bit of the Estee Lauder Daywear Plus. I like it. It just th thins this double wear, Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup. And actually, um, Little Miss Forty taught me this, so I like that. Um, forgot to get it wet. I love the Beauty Blender. It can apply so many foundations. All right, let's just see. I'm going to go right over there. And this is now wet. So am I. And I just bounce it in. And I should, I'll come up close and show you what my, here's what my skin looks like. I know it's weird lighting. Let's try this. Um, here's where I've just bounced the Double Wear Foundation on. I really like it a lot. I will always have it. Kleenex and get rid of that. Okay, so that's evened out that little corner of my face. <laughs> then, okay, now I'm going to kind of go in. I really like that one, but I'm going to kind of go in order of least favorite. Um, a wonderful subscriber of mine <laughs> took pity on me and sent me some samples of foundations when she went into the, um, I think she probably went into Nordstrom. I know she went into Nordstrom. Anyway, she sent me Dior Snow BB Cream, SPF 50, and I thought it was a typo when she was communicating with me, and I thought, well, she means Dior Show, certainly. No, it was Dior Snow. It's um, probably, I would imagine, comes in a tube. It looks kind of, I won't say liquidy, but it's that could come in a glass jar. Anyway, got some on me now. <laughs> so let's put that right there. And look, see, it's kind of thick. Now, if you're skiing, you know, in the snow and you've got bright sun, or she said for me to um, see if I want to take it on my trip to Hawaii. I'm not sure if I do. It's really thick. So I'm going to take a different side of my beauty blender. Beauty blender. I didn't do it. With the beauty blender last time, I when I tried it the first time, I used my finger. Well, it's beautiful coverage. There it is. I can feel it though. <laughs> um, maybe because it's still wet. We'll let that dry. But it's beautiful coverage. It's nice and thick. I think if you want full coverage, maybe. I don't know what do I know? But. Um, I think it would be great if you needed full coverage. And SPF 50, holy moly. All right. Next, I'll pull out the Bior, the Bior DB cream. <laughs> the Dior BB cream. And I got this sample from Sephora. And it looks like that. See, I'm learning to hold things up a little bit longer. Well, I'm just going to take my finger. My fingers are clean. I just want a little bit because we only have a little bit of skin to cover up. So I'm going to put it right next to the other BB cream and find a different little spot here. I wonder if I should be using my finger as a control applicator, but they're all going to be different colors. This is really nice. I like them all. <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of right there. There's the Dior Snow SD Lighter. Pretty soon I won't remember. So you guys are going to have to remember for me. But I keep it in its little bag, so I know which one that is. And then you get hair in your mouth. Alright. The fourth one I'm going to try is Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. And it's really thick. So this one must come in a tube. I, oh, I know the Dior BB cream. I remember seeing it. The, the one I just tried on is in a tube. So there we go. And I will put it over here on top of an eyelash. Find another little blank 
spot here. Now, what did I think of this before? I thought it was fine until I tried the Dior, and then I go, oh, I like the Dior. Yeah, the coverage isn't as great, but it's nice for, you know, medium to light coverage. Um, feels real smooth. You know, the, the BB creams feel heavier, as probably most of you understand. BB creams with their sunscreen make it real thick. All right. Um, okay, we're still doing Estee Lauder. Oh, God. We're still doing Laura Mercier, so let's try their mineral powder. And I'm just going to tap a little bit in there. I have a little more so you can actually see it. Here it is. I like to apply it with my kabuki brush, so I learned from the Bare Minerals guy at um, the Scottsdale Sephora, I guess. Anyway, he rubbed it in for a tap. Let's do a cheek. And here comes the husband upstairs. And so it's on the outer part of the cheek. Um, it's okay. You know, I liked it before I saw all these other ones. I think. A cream actually has better coverage, um, although, you know, when you get down to think of it with a powder, if it's pressed powder, you get just as much, you know, as loose. But anyway, I've heard if you buff it in, heard that from Lisa, Lisa D. Wood, and Prissy and Pink. Alright, so there's that buffed in, little hairs everywhere. <clears throat> Um, I'll say my favorite too. Well, we're getting down to my favorite. Let's see, but this one isn't. This is the Giorgio Armani Fluid Shear. And when I got the sample, I also got the, uh, God. Uh, the lady threw these samples at me because I said, can I have some samples? And sh this one is the Lumi Silk. <clears throat> Lumi Silk Foundation. She just said to mix these two. Well, in the interest of our test, I'm not going to. And I think you can save your money. This one, look at how liquid that is. It just ooked out like that. Just very wet. And it's really dark for me, but you know, it's a sample, so I'm going to put it on the end part here. See how thin that is? So I'm not even going to use my beauty blender. It would just drink it. So here's kind of all the skin so far. Alright, now, yeah. so it's okay. Um, I really like the Luminous, the Lumi Silk. Is that what it's called? God, don't you love them? What's going to happen if I have to go off my drugs? Luminous, Luminous Silk. It's just really tiny writing. It's very, very liquid. Oh, God. So I'm getting it everywhere. See, I'm getting it everywhere, but there it is, the Luminous Silk. So I'm just going to go yank it. So you can see how wet that is. And you think, oh, that's not going to be so good. I think I'll put it, I'll put it on my nose. Last time I had BB cream on my nose. So it goes on a little better than I thought. <clears throat> a little thicker, I guess, I should say. Not better. And it starts to blend right away. Oh, oh gosh, I like this. It would be my favorite, but you'll see what my favorite is in a little bit. So there it is on my nose. It just blends in really nicely. I don't get what I call strawberry. You know when you have big pores and the foundation just sinks into those and they look white and then the rest of your skin. Yeah, I hate that. I refuse to put up with that. All right. Well, I got more skin left. I could do more. Well, I could mix them. I'm, I don't know what it does if you mix them. Okay, so I'm just going to take what's on the little edge there. And I will take a little bit of this. And I'll just put it right here. Right like that. Can't see, so i got to go back to my mirror. Well, it's supposed to have kind of a little luminous glow. Here it is. Here's the fluid sh shear, and then here's the luminous silk. I don't know. 
and then Kleenex. Alright, here we go. Now we get to my favorite, so I've got most of my skin for that. NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And this is SPF. I should try to read it with glasses. Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen, which I bought just, you know, right now because I, I want to take it on my trip. So I think I'll put it in a little sample container and take it with me. But for us, I can't believe they call it a tinted moisturizer. Here it is. It's not runny at all. Let's put it here. Well, that's a lot. Let's take some off. And right on the fingers. I hate to waste it because I love it. Um, so I'll show you. Oops, sorry. Here's what it looks like just dotted on. I'm going to be sure to stay on this side. And I got. I got Alaska. It's a little pale, but that way I can use it all in the winter too. And if you blend stuff, it works if it's not quite your color. Oh, it just feels silky smooth. I mean, I can feel it. Not like the double wear and not like the BB creams. But it has more coverage than a tinted moisturizer shoe. So then on my chin, and because this isn't really, you know, it's hard to show up anything. I'm going to do that. My dear friend, subscriber, sent me the one that single had pity on me. You're not going to believe it. She sent me a single of her very own Maestro. The Giorgio Armani Maestro. And she had, had got color 5. I was thinking that'd be dark for me, but um, probably perfect for Hawaii. But uh, here it is. It's kind of liquidy. Um, she was so cute. She kind of got a little thing to suck it up, but... I tried that and I was afraid I was wasting it in there because it's very precious stuff. So clean, clean finger. I will dab. It's supposed to be oil based and very thin. You use like one drop for your face. But I saw Seth Atkins seven and he used a bunch of drops for his face. So I'm gonna go like that. And here's the five. So it looks light for me. But anyway, I'm gonna rub it in with my fingers. It just this feels like silk. Oh my gosh. She says she's still getting used to it. I <laughs> used to it right away. Um, blend it in a little more. Oh boy. And I, I think it, as the oils, the first two oils are supposed to evaporate, then the other two oils, you know, kind of last through the day. Um, so I think it changes a little bit over the day. Um, I've worn all these all day. The Estee Lauder Double Wear lasts all day. I can put that on for the early ferry and when I come home late that afternoon, early evening, it's, I still have to use Kirkland wipes to get it off. I mean, it won't come off any other way. The BB creams, oops, the BB creams lasted fine. The Laura Mercier, this doesn't last me at all. Not at all. Um, you know, I could reapply it. That's always fun. But um, this lasts me. Nothing lasts as long as that. As the uh, nothing lasts as long as the double wear for me. Oh, uh, what else? What else did I use? Um, so my favorites turn out to be. <laughs> let's see. Well, the Estee Lauder double wear because of its lasting, and I thought I wanted full coverage because I don't like my skin. I want to look like airbrushed. Uh, next favorite would probably be this. Uh, but you can tell these are my high favorites. Uh, I would be happy with any one of them. The next favorite would be the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I mean, if you get a sample of that, <laughs> whew, it's so fun to put on. And then my most favorite is the Maestro. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get up close. Let's see what I think here. Hmm. Blending. Boy, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Okay, so I'm going to rotate my for forehead to you. I don't know. You know, YouTube fixes everything so you can't see pores. And then I started on this side. I don't remember what we got here by now. I think that's the NARS. Onto here. And then here's the Maestro. Or maybe that's the... I don't have to back up. <laughs> so anyway, 
that is my foundation experiment in the bathroom so you could actually see. I like other backgrounds better. This winter is going to be like this and I'm still struggling where light placement should be and shadows and color balance and it's hard to do it inside folks but thank you for staying with me thank you for joining me I, I really appreciate you new subbies I appreciate any shout outs you guys have given me oh and I have to say the funniest thing I saw was um, open bag did a spoof on me for my birthday and thank you that that was a real hoot plus um, you know that was a real honor for me so thank you so much everybody see you next time bye bye